I'm trying my best to completely erase this sour taste and get this off my brain. So instead, I'm going to get this off my chest in order to eliminate the pain. You see, honestly, I had trust issues before we even crossed paths, but I thought that candlelit dinners and bubble baths would suffice. Even though you are nice, I discreetly struggle with this thing some call a vice. <laughs> Why else do I need to ask you the same question twice? You see, the problem isn't you. The problem is me. A deep-rooted problem that goes back way before we. A problem that worsens as I grow older. A problem deeply implanted like a new age microchip in my shoulder or is the chip on my shoulder. So you've lied one too many times, so why should I be convinced that you won't lie again? I gave you my heart, and you used it like a pen, only to write me off like a bad check. But it's all good, because there's someone I just met that will help me take away the pain. Yeah. I said there's someone I just met that will help me take away that pain, so until then, I'll just kindly bottle up those issues with trust and move on so I can fall deeply in lust. I mean, lust. No, I mean lust. Wait! I mean love. Someone said there could be no love without trust. And you can't have trust without communication. And you can't communicate when you ain't got shit to say. Better yet, things to discuss. Now, how are we supposed to build if all we do is argue and fuss? In order to build, we have to. In order to build, we have to. In order to build, we have to tear down every dark wall that has tainted and shattered our infinite possibilities and start from ground zero. Let's learn to embrace those roaring thunder of our thoughts and individually become our own hero. See, I'm trying my best to completely erase the sour taste and get this off my brain. So let's not hold on to those suppressed negative energies or else those trust issues will forever and ever remain. Peace. Welcome, accepted.